For the umpteenth time, Governor Rajan romped home with the same message. The goal of 8% inflation by 2015 is still not won for sure. So we can't let up on interest rates. We do think that growth will be most benefited if we disinflate the economy and we don't have to fight this fight again. Let's fight the anti-inflation fight once and let's win and that will create the best conditions for sustainable growth. While Rajan agreed some upside risk to this 8% inflation target have come off, risks remain. Also, Rajan brought into the market's radar his goal of getting to 6% inflation by 2016, thus obliterating any hope that he may cut rates any time before March. However, he paid his dues to growth by cutting from 22.5% to 22% the SLR or the percentage of the deposits that banks must invest in government securities. If banks are forced to buy fewer bonds, there will be more money for growth. We can afford to liberate more um, sort of access to government financing and um, make it possible for the private sector, for the public sector firms to get access to that financing. Now, they may not need it right now, but we're hopeful that as the economy picks up and credit growth gets stronger, the banks will be able to use that space to lend to the, uh, to the productive sectors uh, of the economy. The RBI has also told banks to mark to market more bonds. That is, bonds that can be held to maturity and not mark to market have been reduced from 24.5% to 24% of the total deposits. This, along with the warning that he won't cut rates anytime soon, led to a sharp 73 paise fall in bond prices. But as Rajan put it, he isn't making policy to get votes from the Sensex or the GSEC market. In his own words, his goal is to win the inflation battle once and for all. Considering that despite a one percentage point fall in June CPI inflation, no one in the market expected him to cut rates today is proof that he has converted the market's psyche. And today, he reminded the nation that the bar is just a little higher. Not 8% inflation by Jan 2015, but 6% inflation by Jan 2016. In Mumbai, with Gopika Gopakumar, Lata Venkatesh.